Hello, this is Hernani Community Television HCTV's news that you can use. We're reporting live from the HCTV studio covering the week of March 17th. My name is Ryan Dunn. And I'm Taylor Simone. So, happy weekend, happy day to you all. Happy life. Um, today is St. Patrick's Day, hence why I'm wearing green. And go figure, um, St. Patrick was actually born in Ireland, and he was a patron who bought, um, who was honored in Ireland, and they started a celebration named St. Patrick's Day after him in the 17th century. St. Patrick's Day normally consists of festivals, people wearing green attire, hence the beads, uh, shamrocks, and it is celebrated by the Catholic Church, the Anglican Anglican communities, the Eastern Orthodox Church, and many, many more. So that was your fun fact for today. But in other serious news, the new election will be, um, Herndon has a new election and that will be used So, for beginning in 2016. So instead of voting in May of 2016, Town of Herndon residents will be voting in November 2016. And the 2016 town budget is coming up, so please let us know the programs that are insightful to you so that those programs will be budgeted next, next for 2016. For more information, please visit herndon-va.gov. At the beginning of March, the Smith School, located in Herndon, hosted their second annual K-12 Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, or STEM, symposium. There have been numerous science and education activities within the area recently. The TEDx Herndon was held for the first time at the Industrial Strength Theater in Herndon on Saturday, March 14th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The event focused on spreading innovative ideas and creating a culture of creativity in Northern Virginia. The event featured 15 speakers and performers from Northern Virginia. In the spirit of TED's mission, Ideas Worth Spreading, the TEDx program helps communities produce TED-style events at the local level. TEDx events are planned and coordinated independently under a license from TED. And the audience agreed that the presentations were inspirational and bold. In addition to the presentations, artistic talent was shared at the TEDx event in Herndon. And this included choreography by members of Motion X Dance DC. Executive Director of the Council of the Arts of Herndon, Signe Friedrichs, expressed and shared the objectives of the art organizations within the area, including the Art Space Herndon, an arts gallery located on Center Street. Are you renting or are you interested in buying a new home? Well, please come on down to the Northern Virginia Home Expo Center on March 21st at Herndon High School. And it's the fifth Northern Virginia Home Expo Center, and it will be featuring um, mortgage assistance, assistance on how to buy a home, rent, um, apartment rentals. Everybody and anybody who will be there will, who can help you with your home or apartment search will be there. So make sure you go for that. Um, for more information, please visit Nova Expo. Excuse me. For more information, please visit NovaHousingExpo.org. Or you can always go to herndon-va.gov and that will send you to the link. Fairfax County Science Fair. The 2015 Fairfax County Regional Science and Engineering Fair will be held March 20th, 21st, and 22nd. The Fairfax County Regional Science and Engineering Fair is a competition for students attending high schools in Fairfax County. Judging will take place on Saturday, March 21st at Robinson Secondary School. Awards will be announced at the awards ceremony the following day. The Public Works Project um, is, is in full swing here in Herndon, so the following streets will be closed. On March 23rd to April 3rd, the Station Street from Center Street to Park Avenue will be closed. And on April 6th from April 17th, the Station Street from Center Street to Pine Street will be closed. For more road closures, please visit herndon-va.gov. Reston Maker Fair. Hundreds of innovators, crafters gathered at Reston South Lakes High 
and Langston Hughes Middle this past Sunday, March 15th, for the Nova Maker Fair. This was the second year of the event, held at the school campuses at South Lakes Drive in Reston. The family-friendly event was sponsored by Nova Labs, and was a great opportunity to showcase creativity and innovation and expose people of all ages to amazing projects including drones, robots, 3D printers, programming, and fabric arts. Families from all corners of Fairfax County and beyond attended the event, which had an increased number of guest speakers, as well as blacksmithing demonstrations. Also attending were ex as exhibitors were students associated with George Mason University and members of the GMU Innovator Inventors Club. It's sports on and it's baseball and soccer week at Herndon High School. But first, before I get to that, a special congratulations are in order for Jessica Keys because she won the Division VI State Pole Vault title and to LeClaire Barris because they finished a state runner up in the pole vault title for the pole vault. Now, on to baseball, at 6 p.m., the, the boys varsity baseball will be taking on Loudoun, Loudoun High School at Loudoun Valley. And at 6 p.m., the girls' varsity softball will be um, playing at Potomac Falls. So make sure you go out there to support them. And at 7 p.m., the girls' varsity soccer will be playing at TJ Science and Tech. Next Stop Theater. Tickets are on sale now for Next Stop Theater's show of The Secret Garden, which is playing from March 26th to April 19th. One of the most beloved novels of all time comes to life on stage at Next Stop Theater. Mary is a sad, forgotten girl sent to live with her uncle after the death of her parents. Left to wander a vast estate, Mary finds a neglected garden. There she begins to unravel mysteries of her family's past. Can the garden return to life with love and care? The Secret Garden is regarded as a musical masterpiece. Hear the exquisite and rich musical score, blending sweeping ballads with English folk melodies, performed live at Next Stop. The show is appropriate for all ages. The Herndon Village Network is on Wednesday, April 8th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Herndon Senior Center. Located at 873 Center Street, herndonvillagenetwork.info at gmail.com. This is a program that will give senior citizens a ride um, to their medical, social, or shopping events, but people need to volunteer, and those volunteers need to be age 25 and older who have a common purpose to help get those senior citizens around. For more information, please contact Herndon Village Network info at gmail.com. There is a fee, though. The principals of the Herndon School Pyramid are thrilled to bring the Soul, Science, and Culture of Hope Symposium to Herndon High School on Wednesday, March 25th. Mr. Antoine Fisher, nationally recognized author, poet, and screenwriter, and Mr. Rick Miller, Kids at Hope founder, will spend an evening sharing about what can be accomplished when adults refuse to give up on kids. Please mark your calendars and join the Herndon community for what stands to be a wonderful and inspirational evening. Park News. With spring on the way, the Herndon Parks will soon be active again. This past weekend, the annual Trout Derby was held at Sugarland Run, and despite rainfall which lasted throughout the morning, there was still a number of participants. Helping volunteer for the event were members of the Northern Virginia Trout Unlimited. At Herndon's Haley Smith Park, new additions will include a playground and permanent indoor restrooms. And news at Herndon Frying Pan Farm Park, on Saturday, March 21st, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., children ages 1 to 6 can hunt for eggs full of treats and prizes beginning at 10 a.m. at the Herndon Frying Pan Farm Park. Weather decisions will be made by 8 a.m. and a rain date is set on March 22nd. The cost is just $6 per child. Sunday, March 22nd, there will be music with Eddie and Martha Adcock and former seldom seen bass player Tom Gray. Doors open at 6 p.m. The concert beat starts at 7 p.m. The music series will be at the Frying Pan Farm Park Visitor Center and is sponsored by Friends of Frying Pan Park and Vienna Hardwoods in cooperation with Fairfax County Park Authority. Food and drinks will be available for purchase 
and tickets for the event are $15 at the door and $18 in advance. At Artspace Herndon on Saturday, March 28th, there will be a performance by the Celtic Liberties, an award-winning quartet of musicians from Abington, Virginia. They will be playing stringed instruments in the style of Scottish and Irish immigrants who settled in the Virginia frontier. The band plays Celtic tunes with a mountain flavor, and they will be joined by a professional flat-footed dancer, Emily Olson, performing Celtic and Appalachian dance. The Celtic Liberties have appeared at the Smithsonian Folklife Fest Festival the Blue Ridge Music Center, and Virginia Highlands Festival. We will see you next week. My name is Taylor Simone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ryan Dunn.